Oh, why, hello there. My name is Aiden Meacham, and I'm an educational spokesperson. Itchy? Whatever. Anyway, I bet you're here with me today to talk about cells. Well, cells are indeed wonderful things, but you know exactly what they are. How about we ask little Timothy here? Hey, Timothy, come over here. So, Timothy, can you tell us exactly what cells are? Well, cells are the basic unit of structure and function found within plants and animals. Ah! Now, let's open up our handy dandy science book. There are multiple parts to every cell, and we're going to review each. Now, this is an animal cell, germs and gentlemen, and as you can see, there are a lot of parts that go into it. I'll help you out with this. Actually, the parts of a cell are like people with different positions in a hotel. Just watch. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the cell membrane, which is sort of like the hotel guard. It lets the stuff that should be let in, like people with a reservation, come inside, and the bad stuff, like a hobo looking for a place to stay, kept out. It encircles the entire cell and always protects it valiantly. The next topic we're going to learn about are lysosomes, who are sort of like janitors. They get rid of all the waste in the cell, like leaning out you-know-what in the bathrooms, and break down all sorts of substances in the cell into smaller parts. Lysosomes are really important because they keep the cell clean. The nucleus, sort of like the manager and owner, is the brain of the whole cell. It makes sure everything is running smoothly and that the cell is in tip-top shape sort of like the opposite of your school principal. The nucleus gives orders to all other parts of this operation in a very bossy, big ego manner, basically exactly like your school principal. Nucleolus is the person who holds all the room keys in the hotel. It stores ribonucleic acid, or RNA for short. This RNA helps supply the cell with proteins. The nuclear membrane surrounds both the nucleus and nucleolus and keeps them safe with the hotel manager's personal bodyguard. The endoplasmic reticulum in the cell is attached to this. What's the endoplasmic reticulum, you ask? Let's find out. The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short, is kind of like the elevator operator in the hotel, or in a more fully realized concept, like the traffic controller in a big city. It is a system of membranes that is in charge of the passage of materials in the cell cytoplasm. Now, there are two different types of ER. There's ER that has ribosomes, which is what create the proteins in the cell attached to it. Excuse me. And there is ER that does not. The former is known as rough ER, and the latter is called smooth ER. Chromatin is like a librarian similar to how she stores books that are read by generations of people the chromatin holds the genetic genetic information that is passed down from generation to generation it also helps control the activity of the cells mitochondria is the guy that controls the electricity bills in the hotel he produces energy from sugars we consume so the cell will always be in tip-top shape basically the opposite of those cruddy sports drinks Cytoplasm is hard to describe as a hotel employee. It's basically a thick goob in between the cell membrane and the nucleus. It holds everything in between the two in place. Golgi bodies are, in a sense, like the hotel parking garage. It holds and stores the secretions of the cell, in this occasion, the cars. Vacuoles are like the small gift shops in the hotel that sell all the chatsmiths and drinks and stuff. Basically, it stores food, water, and waste. Waste is in those cheaply made, expensive plastic toys that they sell. Now we've learned all the different parts of a cell, let's focus more on the different types of cells themselves. There are many different types of cells. You have your eukaryotic cells, which um, generally contain a nucleus. You have your prokaryotic cells, which do not contain a nucleus. You also have um, the cells from an animal, which um, contain a cell membrane, and then the cells found within a plant contain a cell wall. There are also bacterial cells. Um, bacterial cells generally make up 
single-celled organisms, which is the exact opposite of eukaryotic cells, which generally make up multicellular organisms. <clears throat> For our last time together, oh, oh no, don't, don't cry, I'm sure I'll be doing this all again soon enough. <clears throat> we are going to talk about white and blood, uh, red blood cells. Now, white blood cells are generally um, sort of like the uh, cell membrane. Um, they make sure that nothing gets into the, um, the bloodstream, and they um, make sure uh, your bloodstream is clean. Um, and your red blood cells are generally what you see when you poke yourself with a pin. Well, folks, uh, this is pretty much everything I know about um, cells, and something tells me you have a test to study for. A man has a choice. And I recommend you choose to study.